good morning happy monday um it's the monday after thanksgiving break so the kids went back to school and today is the day that i bring my car in to be repaired from that fender bender i had in um a parking lot totally not my fault because i was in the car totally in the car um, looking at my list of what things to get in the store so I mean thankfully the the lady she took full responsibility of it and the things or the process of um, getting things done you know it's pretty quick she called the same day ah squirrel and um, then they were getting back to me so I was able to get an estimate the same day and so and now I'm bringing in the car and oh gosh and the rental car is supposed to meet me there too because um, I'll be out of a vehicle for a few days or so and the rental car is nothing's coming out of my pocket but I will make sure again oh god what is that ah. so anyway yep um and then what today gonna continue using or uh, finishing Christmas shopping for um a few people so yay almost done all right check in later so here i am at enterprise getting my rental car and this is going to be this audi a3 sedan they don't have any electric cars but okay it's only for about a week so um haven't driven it feel color so since the mall doesn't open until 10 o'clock um here i am hanging out at barnes and noble and i also made an appointment for manny because it is time these things are grown out for me at least i know some people actually leave it on for longer <laughs> but it's been um nearly a month and i i also want to cut them down a bit because it's just poking <laughs> every you know things where I where I would think like it wouldn't poke because my nails are shorter but because they grew you know it pokes so anyway um so as you've seen I I have a rental vehicle for at least a week I think that's the most according to the guy but who knows i mean he did tell me that the parts for my car are here so it's not like they have to wait but they are short two techs so that puts a damper on the schedule um i mean i'm in no hurry at least the rental is paid for and so let me tell you, so at first they were, ooh, hold on, who sees? So at first, um, the first car that they showed me um, was an Audi A3. And it was kind of small. I mean, I, I mean, I thought usually they would give um, a car comparable to what you have. Um, and so i mean i was gonna accept it but it was looking kind of small in there i mean what if like you know i have to bring my parents or something so that wasn't gonna work and you know now was not the time to be shy to ask so i did and asked for a car that is higher a little higher up because um you know be easy for my parents um, to get in and out of the vehicle and it'd be more spacious too so they were able to give me a, another one um, it's a 
a Honda Passport. So, and it's fine. It's spacious. It's similar to my my dad's vehicle because um, he has a pilot. So, um, yeah, so far so good. It's a gas uh, car. So, I haven't gone to a gas station <laughs> in a while. Um, so, we'll see how this goes for the week. <laughs> I'm just trying to get used to um, driving this car or this vehicle. It's um, a Honda Passport. It's slightly bigger than my my car, so um, yeah, <laughs> just getting used to it. Um, but it's fine. I've driven big cars. Uh, trucks all that so but you know it's just different when it's a rental car and you're like oh I don't want to mess it up or anything so anyway so the salon called me and um, said I could go there earlier which works out better you know just in case um, you know it takes longer than usual so I, I could go shopping earlier. <laughs> um, I was just getting ready to, you know, settle at Barnes and Noble. Bought another audio book. Um, while I was waiting for my coffee, they had, you know, they have books on the stands or the the shelves. And one was called the September House. So I looked at it, read the synopsis, and you know, it's interesting. It's supposed to be a scary book. And so for me, um, scary books or, you know, are they don't really scare me <laughs> as much as, um, you know, watching it on TV or anything. So, so I downloaded it and I was about to start it and then they called me. And it was a good thing I picked it up because it was, um, it wasn't, you know, the name on my, the caller ID wasn't their name. And so I just took a chance and here we are. So this is before. <laughs> and this is after. so sleepy while getting my manicure um, I mean I maybe it's like the drills and stuff but it's it makes me feel relaxed until like um, you know he probably went a little overboard and did the drill on my skin so that kind of like woke me up a bit but um, other than that my eyes were getting so heavy I was trying to watch TV, like, I mean, I can't hear it and there's no closed captions, but this time they, um, it's like it was a channel for travel. Um, usually it's, they have some kind of cooking channel on there, but you know, I was just watching it, the t watching the TV and then it's like, oh, I just wanted to fall asleep. <laughs> But anyway, so I got my nails in that nudish pink color, I think. Um, number 111. And I'll remember that one because um, that's the address of our old house. 111 Merrimack Court. <laughs> so, alright. I guess I'll go continue uh, Christmas shopping because... Today is the last day to get that extra 20%. So, hmm. How was your day? Good. <clears throat> it, smells, it smells salty in here. It smells salty? Yes. What does salty smell like? Snowy sock. Okay, well, it's a rent-a-car, so. 
Let's <clears throat> move your shoes. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Or, you know, Tuesday. <laughs> Who knows if it's happy or what? You make it what it is. Anyway, so. right now um you know i like it just as long as i have a jacket um so this morning i'm headed back to um the one lake cafe it's a um, it's journeys coffee but um it's at the one lake community it's this really nice um commun uh housing division or, or whatever you want to call it they have like these new houses um surrounded by a man-made lake where you can go paddle boating kayaking um you know things like that but no swimming so in case just i mean i mean if you accidentally fall out of your vessel or something then fine but they don't want you to go swimming um so yeah, so um, I made a mental note not to get coffee over there because I don't like their coffee anymore. Um, but their matcha tea lattes are pretty good, so that's what I'm gonna get. And let's see, I am really behind on um, you know editing and uploading. Um, I think it's I messed up my algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> but you know because I, I noticed that like the views like I used to have at least like 30 some views or so but or 20 and then it went it's less than that so because I wasn't pushing out I mean every I would have videos almost daily and you know got cool views for me but anyway, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do, um, and today is the day that, um, is the Warriors game against the Kings, and so I had bought, um, uh, Ted tickets for his birthday, and so this time he's going to go with Matt, and, you know, it's just too much if we, um, if I bought four tickets, um, and yeah so but you know just in case I'm waiting for a call from my bestie um, to see if we're able to if me and Trina are able to go to the game for free so uh, keep you posted on that um, and then what else um, yeah that's pretty much it I don't know I mean, Katrina was like, oh, what are we going to do when Daddy and Matt are at the game? I'm like, go home. <laughs> go home and watch the game. <laughs> so while Matt and Ted are at the game tonight, whee, I'm at home watching the game. So usually I really don't mind watching the game at home, but man, today the cable is glitching, so it's delayed. So I also have my app on, so I could be current on the scores, because sometimes it'll just freeze and it's like, they're already, you know, three, five points of, um, ahead or, you know, whatever. So, uh, but right now it's such a good game i wish i was there but it's okay it was my birthday present for ted and so since i went to opening night with matt um you know i wanted him to have a chance to go to a game too also with matt so unfortunately the warriors weren't able to get the win it was such a close game 
It was a good game. They lost by one. And so I just talked to Matt on the phone and they're on the way back. But boy, he sounds really bummed. I mean, I would be too. <laughs> uh, anyway. All right. Gonna end the day or end the night. I'll probably try to watch something while I wait for them to get home. Alright, have a good night!